What's up guys, we're gonna build beats today. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything you need to know about the mixer. If you guys haven't subbed already, I'll turn post on. I'm gonna do so, because those over the light, let's hop right into it. So it's gonna be a shorter one. I'm just kind of blast through them. And these just things you should know already, but I realize people don't. So I'm gonna just make a video on it. Uh, so uh, first thing is just kind of how this looks, right? So if you want this to be large like this, what you can do is come up here and you can change the layout. Um, and they have a ton of them but I'll use extra large obviously for video so people can see like the plugins and the names, um, but you can go ahead and change these however you want. Um, so yeah, and then the next one is you can kind of hide these slots is you just click this little box and kind of hide these. And then if you right click, you can actually switch it to this side if you kind of like everything compact over here, move that. And then the next one is if you're missing parameters down here, you can click this and then you can kind of hide them or show them. I would have them on just so you can control um, the stereo and all these other parameters, right? And then the last one up here um, that you'll need is this waveform. <laughs> Now I like having mine like that, um, but you know, to each his own. So last one is like the colors, right? So if you go to mixer options, view, and then you can actually change the saturation of the colors, right? I put mine on medium. I kind of like that balance. I don't like it on high because it's just way too crazy. Um, and there's other things you can do. As you can see, there's other like parameters here you can mess with. But I just want to go over the things you need to know. All right, so that is just kind of the look. So let's move on. All right, we're going to quickly go over the bus now. So uh, real quick, just some like hotkeys. So if you hold control and you drag, click and drag, you can highlight things in order. If you hold control and shift, right? So control and shift, you can select specific ones. Okay. Um, so now with that, um, you can put things into a bus. Okay. So if you hold this right like that and then you select this last one you right click go to track routing and then you do you can side chain you could do any one of these that you want the one that i use is route select it is track only if you're creating a bus right and it will route all these sounds to the bus right and this is very important to know how to do and i'm going to do one over here um you could do it manually if you just click this and then you click the arrow on where you want this sound to go. So I want this synth bass to go to this bus. So I'm gonna click this, and this is gonna side chain it if you just click it, okay? You can control um, the output to this, all right, if you want. Um, but if you wanna actually only route it here, you right click, and then you go to route to this track only. And you can see it unrouted from the master to this bus, and I'll just name this, all right? All right, we can just do this trick again routing boom okay um so i'll play it and now we have full control over all these sounds and how they'll sound so anything we put here will affect all these sounds all right so that is kind of like how the bus works and you can kind of change this to kind of uh decrease or increase the output of each sound or you just do it from here it doesn't really matter okay now next, I'm gonna just show you how to add separators and sub mixes. So we can just pretend all these are in a group and we could use our same trick, hold control, click and drag, right? And then right click, track routing and go to create sub mix. You can name it whatever you want. And it's gonna put all those in their own little mix. You can see these little separators, okay? And now these are all in a bus. So that's like a quick way to just add everything. And then if you wanna add your own separators, you just click the um, channel that you want the separator to be by so if we wanted to separate this whole section we click this one and it'll always be on the left so right click and go to separator and it'll create a separator okay um, so now this next part will be super loud as you can see these are super high because in order to understand this i need this to peak so we're going to talk about the order that these work in so it's literally from the top to the bottom. Okay, now it didn't used to be that way, it used to be flipped and that's why a lot of people are confused um, because they fixed it. Um, so I'll kind of show you, so you might wanna turn the video down or something like that because I'm a, it's gonna peak. So I'm gonna turn this off and then we'll know this is working because it'll basically not peak, right? <laughs>
right and if you see when we add the clipper after this uh rc20 it stopped peaking right and then we added it before right it peaked again because it was because this was affecting the sounds after the clipper okay so that's kind of how i figured it out myself um so that's pretty much that and then lastly the current now the current is how you can try out effects on your sounds um so with that i'm gonna show you how to copy effects so if you like for example let's just take these off real quick um let's reset these so if you like to say you just have a like a nice effect chain right whatever you like oh i don't want to remake it what you can do is click this arrow and go to save preset as but you want to click and hold so you can drag it you can put it over to any of these channels so i'm gonna put it to current now the cool thing about current is it literally says what it does so whatever you have highlighted it'll put the effect on um so let's turn all this off um and then we turn this on now if we want it just on this key we select this right so you can add effects and try effects out with this current and a lot of people don't know that and real quick before i end i'm gonna just insert this um i'm gonna show you just how to record specific stuff so if you click this little arm recording you can choose what sounds you want to record so if we want to just do like these um and then you can go to you can kind of just record them right and nothing's playing but you can see that it's recording those specific sounds okay so that's gonna be it for this video those are just the basics that everybody should know and from here you can just build off of um this and just get more advanced with it but those are the things you should know like if you're just making like beats those are things you should be you should know that stuff right now right um so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed me sure guys like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace